If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in and around Baltimore, be sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell so that you can be the first to know about everything that we have going on here in and around Baltimore. I'm Mike Maslinski. And I'm Kelly Schuett, and we're with the W Home Group, and we love helping you explore in and around Baltimore. We both live here, we were raised here, we love helping you guys connect with all of the wonderful neighborhoods that Baltimore has to offer. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, investing here in the next nine days, 90 days, whatever your timeline looks like, we help people just like you every single day. So connect with us, whatever is easy for you, message, um, email, phone call, text, we're available to you. Today we want to dive into our top favorite places to get your pumpkin on this fall. So all things fall fun, perfect for families, kids, and anybody who just wants to enjoy all Maryland has to offer in the fall season. So let's jump right in. So first on the list is Weber's Farm, and this is actually the probably the first one I ever went to in terms of pumpkin picking or apple picking at all. Um, what I like about this place is Number one, it has a gift shop, so there is a little bit of an indoor area. So if it is a little cold, you can go inside for a little bit. Um, obviously, the assortment of pumpkins and so forth, apple cider, things like that. But they also have a bakery, so you can get some fresh pies, pumpkin rolls, things of that nature. And then on the family side, you have the tire hill, which is really fun and ridiculous. Uh, you have the hay rides, you have the mazes. Um, there's a ton of ton to do and they change it up every year. So there's a little bit of assortment, a variety, different things every single year. And it's probably the most conveniently located in, for Baltimore County, right in Parkville. So it's right off the interstate. It's really easy to get to. Um, it's probably the most popular. I'm not sure if it's the longest running, but it's definitely one of the most popular in the area. So be sure to check out Weber's farm and then my family loves to take a little trip out to Mount Airy. Um, they have Gaber's Farm, which is the place that is perfect, especially if you have younger kids. It's great for all ages, but it's especially tailored for younger kids. So they have a ton of activities that are for the littles. Um, they've got one of those huge blobs that you can jump on. They've got a little train. There's a small corn maze that your kids are not going to get lost in fun slides, little ducky races, just a lot of stuff for like smaller children. They can spend the entire day there. You get a wristband and you basically have all of the activities for one price, which I also like. So you can just enjoy it as long as you want and spend a whole day there. This year, there's a brand new, so if you're watching this in 2024, there's a brand new um, spot opening up. This is in Gambrels in Anne Arundel County. And it is a Taylor Swift themed corn maze. So you know my kids are making me go to this, but the entire farm this year is turning Taylor Swift themed. They, the maze is in a shape of her famous little heart hand thing. Um, they've got live music where they're going to have cover bands of Taylor Swift. So it's definitely something fun if you are Swifty or your kids are. Boggers is a staple out in Westminster. This is open year round and they always have the farm market. In the fall, they also add a lot of things like you can pick your own pumpkins. They've got apple picking. Um, they always have their fresh famous pies and they've got a petting zoo year round and a playground. So it's a great place to visit anytime during the year, but they definitely kick it up a notch for fall fun. I grew up in the Montgomery County area. So if you feel like taking a little trip out that way, they have two spots that are right next to each other. Highly recommend. One is Butler's Orchard. They've got everything fall fun you can imagine. Playground, hay rides, petting zoo, pumpkins, uh, bakery, all the good stuff. But right next door is called Dock Water Cidery. It's a local Maryland cidery. Their cider is delicious. They have alcoholic and non-alcoholic huge open space to hang out in with picnic tables. So it's a really fun place to, you know, grab some donuts from Butler's, do your fall fun, and then go enjoy a little um, cider next door. Next up is Misty Valley Farms and the John Brown store. So if you're in Baltimore County at all, you should definitely, whether it's, you know, in the fall or any other time of the year, John Brown store is an amazing restaurant and it's a, it's a butcher shop. So you can go there, you can get all kinds of steak cuts. Uh, they got hanging meats. It's incredible. All kinds of things. And everything there is locally grown and uh, from in and around the area. And then at lunchtime, they actually have, you can um, get their chicken sandwiches, 
uh, their steak sandwiches, their, their burgers, which are incredible. Um, so that's one of the best spots, but also they have a, co a coffee shop right there at the intersection. And then on the other side of the street is Misty Valley Farms. So this place is packed on the weekends. So if you want to get your pumpkin picking on, your, your local vegetables, your it's basically a farmer's market, a glorified farmer's market that's just packed. I mean, it's conveniently located right in Hunt Valley, right off the, of I-83. So this is one of the most popular in the area and one of my favorites as well. Another spot I love to check out all year round, but especially in the fall. And this is a great place to get teacher gifts, fun Halloween decorations, Thanksgiving, little hostess gifts, and obviously Christmas presents once we get into that season. It's called Shop Chosen. It's basically Etsy in real life. So local makers go there and they can sell all of their goods and you can support local all in one shop, which is really fun. It's a great place to find unique gifts. But right across the street, is called the Farmer's Daughter, which is another farm stand that's just really popular. Really fresh produce, um, local honey, cider. So it's a really fun one-two punch, and that's right out in Hides, um, which also has Dijon Winery, and it's right around the corner from Bordy Winery. So we have a whole other video on our top favorite wineries in Maryland, but this is a fun little Saturday if you want to go do a little shopping, do a little farmer's market, and then do a little wine tasting. You're all right in the same area. If you haven't liked and subscribed, we are always talking about all things Baltimore and surrounding areas, places to go, things to see, what lifestyle looks like here if you're thinking about moving into the area or if you're thinking about moving around the area from one side of Baltimore to the other. We're exploring all the great neighborhoods and all of the great things that you can check out um, all across the area. So make sure you like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of the local happenings. I'm Kelly Schuett. And I'm Mike Mislinski. And we're with the W Home Group of Next Step Realty. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are thinking about making the move to Baltimore, Maryland. And we love it. We love sharing all of the amazing things that make Baltimore Charm City. Whether it's nine days or 90 days, we're here to make your move to Baltimore as smooth as possible. You can call, text, or email us anytime. All of the information is below. We're so excited to help you on your journey moving towards Baltimore, Maryland, because we love new neighbors and new friends. Welcome.